the growing developer. Welcome guys, how are you? Welcome to the channel The Growing Developer and let's move on with the part 1 of our tutorial series of GetX and the part 1 would be our snack bar dialog and bottom sheet. How are we going to use the snack bar dialog bottom sheet? Uh, all those developers out there or if you have ever tried to show a snack bar dialog or any kind of bottom sheet you might have come up with many errors like uh, context not shown we cannot find the parent widget something like that so it's been a pain to show the snack bar dialogue and bottom sheets right but the getx makes it so easy and it's pretty much uh, like that in some lines uh, some lines of code we can do that right for the first part we have the snack bar so i'll open up this snack bar and i have the snack page okay in the snack page i have four material button which says uh, show snack bar show dialog and show bottom sheet now i'll show you how we can show the snack bar and how easy it is for the first button it show it says show snack bar right so in it to do i'll remove this to do because we are right now doing it so how to show the snack bar let me guess do you have any ideas like like we have to write like scaffold state dot show snack bar something like that but getx makes it very easy we have to just write get okay dot snack bar it is that simple getting it get dot snack bar will take up uh it will take care of any kind of context that we are talking about then we have the dot snack bar and in goes the title so here i'll just convert it the title goes here great snack bar right and as a message i can say snack bar done in one line right let's see i'll first save this and i'll show you what all uh, tweaks we can do it here so i'll just save it right now if i click on snack bar show snack bar you can see that there it is the snack bar by default the position is top so we can change it it has a parameter known as snack position and then i can write snack position dot bottom simple let's save this i'll reformat it so that it is visible for us and there you go so let's click it again and now the snack bar shows it right here what else we can do let's see we have the color property color of the text let's change the color to white why because i want to change the color background color to probably a grayish a dark gray color right let's save this again and if i click again you can see that the snack bar. it's very easy very materialistic and looks great let's move on to the show dialog how we can show the dialog again very easy get dot dialog now we have the general dialog we have the default dialog i'll show you the default dialog and all the dialog and general dialog you can do it yourself right just do some research of it so default dialog how we can do the default dialog and what it takes let's see what all it has it has the actions cancel confirm content uh, it might have the title as well so as a title i'll say easy dialog or rather getx dialog right we are talking about getx kudos to the developer who developed that dialog and then okay what is it it takes up a string okay fine For that i'll just give it a string right now i have the title then i have the content okay so as a text i can say the content as this is amazing right isn't it amazing well you can see that title takes up the uh, string but the content takes up a widget so you can write anything like a column or if you want to show the image as well whatever you want right and then you have the on confirm on cancel all kind of stuff let's save this and see how it works click here and there it is get x dialog this is amazing and a content let me just wrap up with a column and then after that i can just copy it and this is another widget right let's try it again and there you go so you have different things that you can do inside this uh, content you can pass on a widget and inside widget you can just keep on listing it and add up much how you want the dialogue to appear it is that easy so then it is get dot bottom sheet right 
on the bottom sheet you can pass anything so i will pass a container give it a height of maybe 100 pixels give it a color of white color right then i have a child right child can be a text which says get x gotten sheet right let's save this and see how it works show bottom shift you have the bottom shift ready with you now it's up to you how you want it i can wrap it up with a column right and then give it another text and save it again i should have two bottom sheets now or rather to make it more like attractive or not so so i can just wrap it with a list style of course it doesn't have the title it has the of course it doesn't have the child sorry it has the title so as a title i should have this and similarly for this text as well i'll wrap it up with a list style and instead of this child i should replace it with title that's it let's save this and looks much better right and uh, yep the error is just for because of the height factor so i can definitely do it like that so i have the bottom sheet ready for us and how much time did it take me to implement stack bar dialog and bottom sheet right just in some minutes i was able to do this like show snack bar dialog and trust me any other page any page you are uh, you require to show the snack bar at any widget level you will be able to do that why because all the concepts and all the location tracking like uh, where is our parent widget the get widget material app and the packet does it itself it's amazing right so next part would be how we had how we can navigate to a new screen how to send data to a new screen how to get back and all those stuff right so stay tuned next part right next in this playlist only thank you so much for watching this part hope you're having a nice day goodbye